Hello everybody, Robin here at Toadstool Tarot with a little treat for you today. A little bit of a treasure. This is the Harmonious Tarot from Los Scarabeo based on the illustrations of Walter Crane, who was part of the arts and crafts movement of the late 1800s. Uh, people often associate this with uh, the movements of the Pre-Raphaelite and uh, Art Nouveau. Uh, very similar. I'm not sure I know what the distinction is. They're both very delicate images with a lot of detail, a lot of intricate floral patterns. I got this originally in the regular sized uh, version when it came out, and um, the advertisements online showed the card backs in color, so I was sort of disappointed when I mine arrived and it was in solid green. I don't know if it was a mis misprint or if this printing or edition of it uh, came out this way. The full-size cards are a little bit narrower than a standard tarot card, about eighth of an inch. And the uh, mini size, here you can see the difference in what I was expecting and what I received, full color, solid green. And here in the uh, the mini is, oh, about an inch and a quarter, maybe an inch and a half shorter and half an inch narrower, narrower. The box, beautiful linen box. I love these, if I haven't mentioned it already. Um, I got the Radiant Wise Spirit in a linen box like this. I like, I don't like mini decks generally but these seem slightly larger than the true minis, although not as large as a tarot in a tin. Either way, they're good for travel and they are workable in this size for me. They are large enough to shuffle and handle uh, with a, a deck this thick, I mean, Making the card smaller doesn't make the deck thinner because of the card stock. Uh, so, and that presents some issues when you have true mini decks. The Little White Book has uh, oh, about three or four pages of interpretations, only about five keywords per card. And it's in six languages, so not worth much but there you go there's the title card some of these cards may be triggering for some folks so be forewarned and always be sensitive to anyone that you happen to be reading cards for in terms of things that might uh, upset them. I should say also that you will need very good lighting and very good eyesight or a very good pair of reading glasses to fully enjoy this deck because there is a lot of detail in it. And had I been working at Los Garabeo, I may not have given this deck a go to be reproduced in a mini size card because there is so much detail and they are so very difficult to see all the details. But they are labeled at the bottom and clearly, and I believe that if you are familiar with the Rider Waite Smith system, you shouldn't have any trouble reading with this deck. The oh, I forgot to mention that the regular sized one 
has multiple languages uh, uh, labels on each card six languages and that's one thing i don't really like about the older los garabeo decks they have since modified them and now are using either symbols and numbers or numbers only on i believe all or most of their decks as always, I think it's advisable to look at walkthroughs on YouTube to see uh, the quality and content in a deck before you purchase. Unless you have unlimited funds and you don't mind taking the risk. I used to buy many products, sight unseen, solely on the recommendation of others or on the basis of cover art or perhaps three sample cards, which led to many disappointments for me. Now I will not buy a new deck unless I have seen a previous walkthrough, which you might say makes my walkthroughs a bit redundant, but I think everybody has their own little tidbits of information or points of view to add when sharing cards, even if the card images have been shared before. Walter Crane was a children's book illustrator from the late 1800s. I would say a contemporary of Pamela Coleman Smith, although perhaps a little older. He is in uh, line with others like Randolph Caldecott, H.J. Ford, Kate Greenaway. all well-known illustrators of their day. And you may see some um, resemblance or some qualities in this that seem familiar or carried over into Pamela Coleman Smith's style of illustration. Now, to the best of my knowledge, Walter Crane did not design a tarot deck. This deck was, uh, the artwork is by Walter Crane and Ernest Fitzpatrick, who I'm assuming is responsible for adding the pips to the illustrations. You can see that the fashion style in the different cards um, indicates that these come from different books, different book illustrations by Walter Crane. And uh, so the borders and the pips probably were added by um, Fitzpatrick. But I'm very thrilled to have a copy of this deck without the extra languages on it. It's nicely displayed. Um, again, I think the detail in this might be a little bit much for a mini deck. Um, I, I would say if I were to advise Los Garabeo, I'd say please reissue the deck like this in regular size cards, perhaps even borderless.
because they already do have borders. So there you have it, the Harmonious Tarot. I don't know why it's called the Harmonious Tarot. I think I would call it the Walter Crane Tarot or the Fairy Tale Tarot or I don't know, something like that. Arts and Crafts, pre raphaelite Art Nouveau. If you like the art of Walter Crane, you might enjoy this, and if you don't like the multiple languages on the larger version of the deck, go for the mini. It's quite a nice little pocket treasure to own. And I will see you all again very soon. Thank you for joining me today.